Hi guys, it's Dee and welcome to Dee's Yard. I am very excited about today's video because I get to share with you the process I took to create a boxwood hedge around my water garden area. And for me, this is extra special because I started all the plants from cuttings. Just to recap on my boxwood journey, last year in the spring of 2020, I decided I wanted to add a boxwood hedge around my koi pond water garden area to create a secluded room and to add more structure. I also want there to be three designated entrances and to deter my children from walking over the small retaining wall. And I'm hoping having a hedge will help with that. After I realized how many boxwood I would need to complete this project, I decided I would just purchase one boxwood plant and use that one plant to propagate my own. And I chose to go with Winter Gem. I went with Winter Gem because it's an excellent boxwood. It's not fussy about soil types and it flourishes in both sun and part shade conditions. Winter Gem boxwood retains its emerald green throughout winter with minimum bronzing. It's also deer resistant, drought tolerant, and easy to maintain. In July of 2020, I took my cuttings from the one parent plant and had a 100% success rate. The cuttings were very small and I just used a seed tray filled with a 50-50 mix of peat moss and perlite with a humidity dome. I'll have all related videos and products I use linked down below. After six to eight weeks, the boxwood cuttings had roots and in September last year, I potted them up in tray gallon containers that I got for free from a local garden center and I filled them with pine bark soil conditioner. At this time, I also fertilized them with a slow release such as Osmocote. I didn't want to stress the baby cuttings and lose them over the winter, so I constructed a mini portable greenhouse and they overwintered perfectly. This year, April 2021, I fertilized them again with Osmocote and just kept them watered throughout the season while the roots filled out their tray gallon pots. The boxwood have grown beautifully this year and they are definitely ready to go into the ground. And here in the southeast zone 7A, fall is the perfect time to plant them. First, I laid out all the boxwood and measured them exactly 24 inches apart and with the same distance from the retaining wall. Not only do I measure the plants initially, but you'll see I triple check them once before, once after the holes are dug, and again after they're planted. When creating a formal hedge, you want to be as precise as possible. Now I have clay soil and I always amend my native soil with pine bark soil conditioner, which is exactly what I'm growing these boxwood cuttings in. It's just grounded up pine bark and it helps with aeration and drainage. You may also notice I always plant the root ball slightly above the soil grade. And then I just backfill and repeat. And here we go. Now that all the boxwoods have been planted, the next step for me is to set up drip irrigation to the hedge. If you are interested on watching a full do-it-yourself drip irrigation tutorial, I'll have that video linked down below. I already have drip run to the garden bed around my deck, so I'm just going to tap into the half inch drip line. First I remove the end cap of the existing tubing, and then I use a half inch coupler to connect the existing half inch tubing to more half inch tubing to extend the line. Once I reach the end of the garden bed, I need to turn the line 90 degrees, so I add a 90 degree angle half inch elbow. You'll see every so often I add a landscape staple to tack down the tubing as I go. Then to go around two more corners, you'll see I add two more half inch elbows. 
To get from the deck garden to the new hedge, I trench under the grass. Now to split the tubing to go both to the left and to the right, I add a half inch T and then add a half inch drip line that has one gallon per hour emitters spaced every 24 inches. The drip line continues and I tack down landscape staples. To go under walkways, I cut the drip line, add a half inch coupler, and then a solid half inch tubing without emitters. And on the other side, I add the drip line again. This whole process continues until I reach the beginning half inch T to connect the tubing. The next step is to create the garden lines and edge the bed. I just measure 24 inches from each boxwood and create marks with my trenching shovel. And then I just connect the dots. It won't be perfect at first and that's okay, I can fix it later. The last step for me is to lay down a weed barrier such as newspaper and cardboard and then add a layer of mulch. Now all I have to do is just water them as needed. I will fertilize them in the late winter, early spring with an organic slow release fertilizer such as Plant Tone. And if I am to lose any of the boxwood, no worries. I have quite a few leftover boxwood cuttings that I have on standby just in case. I will keep you guys updated on all the progress and growth of my boxwood hedge. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even inspired you to create your own boxwood hedge. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys. Oh,